Hey everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena. Yes, this is Ash Williams and Leatherface having a chainsaw fight on my shirt. It is awesome. Anyways, what I have for today's video is I had recently been to a store called Dollar General. Now then while some of you are probably going, yeah, sure, whatever. I got that right around the corner. Keep in mind that in Washington State, where I used to live, there wasn't Dollar General. So it was kind of a new experience for me. And while I didn't get any footage inside the store, oh my gosh, it's like going in there, I kinda, it, I, I kinda felt like I was in a horror movie. <laughs> just, just like the, the flickering lights, you could hear like the buzz like you know like the buzz of those overhead fluorescent lights it was even though it was in the middle of the day it was dim it was kind of freaky there was like one employee down one of the aisles who kept giving me that kind of that really shady look and I was just like okay where are the art supplies I just want to get out of here <laughs> That was, that was just the first one and so far the only one I've been to, so I, I would actually like to go to a different one and hopefully not get that. Uh, yeah, that, that was just... <laughs> I mean, my skin is crawling just thinking about it. I mean, like... <sighs> I swear, if I stayed any longer, that dude was going to turn into a deadite and attack me. Anyway, what I picked up there, because I was in... Um, yeah, I, I was quite hasty, but I found these watercolor pencils that I'm curious about that were only like three bucks or so. And then these metallic, they call them markers, but they kind of look like gel pens, probably more like fine tip pens, but we'll find out exactly in a few minutes. And I want to try these out together just because, well, I can. So let's get to it. Alrighty, well, I think that what we need first is one of those aesthetically pleasing opening shots. So let's get that. Okay, somehow this was just working out better in my head. So, you know what? Eh. We can do fancy later. Let's just... Oh, get out of it. Oh, that, that's not even a pencil. What, what are you doing? Just yeet. Okay, so we've got four, no, eight. I can't count today, I'm sorry. This is what happens when I film videos late at night. So we've got eight, count them eight. I can count now. Watercolor pencils and these metallic markers. I hate these packages so much. They never want to freaking open. Good enough. Okay, so upon a closer inspection of the pencil, it's unremarkable. It, it, it's, it's a pencil that has a color coating and it's made of wood, but there is like no writing on it. There is no branding. There's, there's no nothing. I mean, like, come on, even Crazy Art puts more effort into their stuff. Come on. However, to make up for it, these metallic markers, I mean, like, they, they seem to at least have a little bit more something going on. Looks like we got a nice bullet tip there. And look at all this decoration on the barrel. I mean, like, it's like, these are all, these are nothing. However, We've still got to test these out, so it is time to get to the swatches. So, let's get to it. All right, I'm gonna try out these pencils first. And this is mixed media paper, by the way. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure that you all saw it, but I'm gonna just state it anyway. This is mixed media paper, not watercolor paper. Okay, so let's see here. My first impressions. Well, like for, for cheap pencils, like the pigment isn't awful. I mean, it's hardly amazing, but 
<laughs> but of course, that's just phase one. Time for phase two. You know what? As far as cheap colored pencils go, the 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 water melting part, like you know that you get watercolor pencils for, that isn't half bad. I mean, it's not the greatest, but <laughs> it's a lot better than what I was expecting. So who knows? Who knows, the pencils may look unremarkable, but they could be a lot more than meets the eye. Kind of like Transformers. Random question, do you like Transformers? Post below. My answer is yes. Alrighty, so I'm just going to finish swatching these out. And then we get to swatch out markers next. And hey, what is this? Get off my swatch page. Like now. Okay, so color me surprised. While these pencils don't exactly look like the greatest, just out of their boxes and everything. The performance in the swatching phase wasn't half bad. So, okay, Dollar General watercolor pencils. Okay, you got me. Now, let's see if the markers can compare in any way. And also, just because these are markers and I'm not sure... I, I'm pretty sure these ones are water-based because usually when it's alcohol-based markers, like, you know, like they, they plaster it all over so that you can't miss it. But I'm curious to see if these things will react to water at all. So, you know what? I'm going in. Are you kidding me? Okay, so the caps do not fit on the end. That is <laughs> bummer. Let's see how well these perform. Okay, that sound on the paper is so satisfying. Color. All right, moment of truth. Oh, well, would you look at that? Still, like it definitely still leaves. Like you can see where the mark was was placed clearly, but you can get a paint effect. Ooh, I might have to dig out one of my palettes and uh, get this a uh, bigger whirl because, uh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, boy. Anyways, I'm gonna finish up with the marker swatches, and once the markers have dried. I'm gonna see if water will reconstitute a dry marker because this was water placed on the marker as soon as it was down on paper. I'm gonna let it dry for a bit and then see what happens. Today is just a day for scientific experiments and I am living for it. So let's just get those swatches done. Alrighty, and there we are, just like magic. Now then, I gave the markers a chance to dry, although I am kind of disappointed in the metallic pink because that one was a little on the streaky side. 
so, uh, and, and I love using pink, so I'm really hoping that I can make something work out of that. Maybe the water will save it, who knows? Well, we're about to find out. All right, so let's see how well this works. Dry marker, when introduced to water. Um, okay, it's reactivating a little bit. Not really a whole lot, not anything worth writing home about, but something happened at least. Okay, I want to do this pink one in particular just because uh, Well, I think it's safe to say that some of these reconstitute better than others. reconstitutes at all. Okay, so when it all comes down to it, when you put the marker down first and it's nice and juicy wet, you can put the water and it spreads out. I mean, not the greatest, but it, it works. However, if these markers are dry, I mean, like the purple was okay, but the green, hardly anything, and the silver and the dark gray slash black, um, uh, you're not gonna have a good time. Now the one other little thing I wanted to see is if the dry colored pencil will reconstitute. Uh, well if you look real close, uh, but not enough to mm, no, not, not enough to make it worthwhile. Anyways, now that the, the da, 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 now that the scientific experiments have been concluded, it is time to do an illustration with these. So, let's get started on that. Hey everyone, this is Silver from the future. Um, you can tell because I'm wearing a different shirt, obviously. Anyways, um, during the editing process of this video, I realized eh, this is just getting way too long. So I decided to split this video in two. So the illustration, there will be an eye bubble for it somewhere in here and a link in the description below. You guys know the drill. Anyway, so I guess with that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off for now. And stay creative, everybody. Bye! For now.